Okay, I'm working on the rear tail housing, and there's a couple areas um, that this thing can leak. And one is this is the breather here. It goes in there, and I took this out because I want to make sure that when I put this together, there's some sealer on there. And I see no sealer there at all, no o ring or nothing, so that needs to be done. Another area of leakage, and I've already removed it. Uh, let's see if I can find it here. This is the spring tensioner for the um, quadrant shift here. It's got the got the notches down in there, and I've already pulled this out. But this sits right in here, and these rollers go right on that those notches. But there's an O-ring right here, and that's another potential leak area. So you definitely want to take that apart and put a new O-ring on there. Now to get the rest of this out, because there's also seals in here that you want to deal with, I've already taken the clip off and I've put it back on so I don't lose it. That just sits down in there. Got that out. Then these pins are threaded. So you just thread a bolt in and take them out. And then, um, let's see if I can get it off of there. Let me get this next one out. Okay, we got that out. So, flip that up and out of there. That's all going to hang together. I take this nut off and lock washer. Get the lever off. I've already loosened this stuff, obviously. I'm going to pull this out of here. And there's your seal. So that's got to be a, definitely an area that's going to possibly leak. So um, and this, you can pull it up and out. I'm probably going to have to take the linkage off to get that completely out of there. I might be able to do it. Maybe. I don't know. It's close, but it's not coming. So I'm probably going to have to yank that linkage off right there. Um, it's just not quite enough room to get it out of there. But I'll get that out of there. Um, we're going to get this thing power washed. Another thing I did, I run a tap through all my holes. I've already run the file across the top. I'll probably remove these um, brass uh, cooling line fittings, and we'll reseal those. So... Um, it's a process, but uh, you don't want any leaks and you want everything to be, um, you know, tight and put back together correctly.